And the Dobrynik Channel is back, and today we are talking about Lake Powell, and Lake Powell is in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. I have everything you need to know. Flaming Gorge, if you guys ever watch my Colorado River updates, you know and I know, but if you don't, you need to go watch those updates. I do that weekly. The reason why I do a Colorado River update is so everybody knows exactly what's going on upstream. Now, the Flaming Gorge Reservoir on the Green River, which this year is released huge amounts of water downstream to help Lake Powell. Many of you know this because you've watched my channel, but those of you who don't know that, you need to go check that out. The Flaming Gorge may only have enough water left for about two more similar emergency releases, says the Bureau of Reclamation, though they have not fully modeled the situation yet, and it's bleak. If you remember, Lake Powell was up 10 feet from where it was, but Lake Powell is also down 18.17 feet from one year ago. So they decided collectively that they were going to release more water from the Flaming Gorge and Blue Mesa to help make Lake Powell rise. And they said that last year. And if you recall last year, all it did was drop and drop and drop, even whenever they did that. Now they are not taking out near as much water this year as they had in the past. Usually they take out about 9 million acre feet. This year, they have a minimum required of 7500000 They're not even at 90%, and there's only a few days left in the water year. The water year ends on September 30th, so come October 1st, we are in a brand new water year, and I don't think they're going to get the other 10% that they need. It would be really shocking to see that if they do. In the last 14 measurements, they hadn't even released 10,000 cubic feet, and they've actually had a decent amount of inflows coming in, so they're still losing water, but yet not at an alarming rate like they were last year at this time. With that being said, they're also draining Flaming Gorge Reservoir, and Flaming Gorge, it has dwindled, and as a matter of fact, the Flaming Gorge is down 6.38 feet from one year ago. Flaming Gorge is at a low for water this year at 5.30 feet. Now, Flaming Gorge also released over 100 and 11.3% from last year's total. And last year's total, they only released 817,934 acre feet. So what I'm trying to say here, if you're not following along, Flaming Gorge has released almost 1 million acre feet. And there's an outside chance that they could get to 1 million before the end of the water year, which happens in about 14 days. It's an outside chance, but it's going to be around 970 or so, I'm guessing. So we will see where that ends up for the water year, and I'll be back with an update on that. Water managers at Lake Powell have worked really hard from falling below its critical threshold, and the critical threshold is at 3,490 feet above sea level. So the problem at Lake Powell is that they just don't have the water. If the lake falls below 3,490 feet, then the power will be shut off. And also, the water that they used from the Flaming Gorge was just a buffer, and that definitely can't be a long-term solution, is what the Bureau of Reclamation says. And they say that Flaming Gorge would only be able to handle two more similar emergency releases and uh, if it doesn't change soon things are going to be bleak they're hoping for the best like i told you in the past they basically robbed peter to pay paul and that is no difference now beyond that we have another issue going on with the colorado it's a silt problem and eventually lake powell is going to be full of silt and that's not a good situation either so so we have a huge problem at lake powell Lake Powell is filling up with sediment. On top of being down, the water levels are probably bleak in the back, and they're basically forming a delta that normally would have been formed at the end of the Colorado River in Mexico. But now that Mexico's basically getting very little water and all these dams have been put in, the way sediment works is it moves real fast in swift water, but the second it occurs bigger bodies of water, the water slows down and the sediment drops, kind of like in the Mississippi River Delta. So basically... Every lake that is ever made will eventually be silted in. Not only Lake Powell, but Lake Mead, Lake Mojave, and Lake Havasu also will be silted in at some point in time. And that is no joke. Eventually that will happen when it's a long, long way off. But it also gives people the illusion that there's more water in the reservoir than what there actually is because they're not taking into account all the silt that's in the reservoir. That's why many people say just open the rivers back up and be done with it. 
eventually your lake will silt in no matter what you do unless you dig it out and to dig it out would be so costly so expensive if they destroyed the dams and let the river run free the silt would wash back eventually the lakes will silt in and that's just the way it is they say that a lot of silts coming from the san juan delta speaking of the san juan river which is a tributary to the Colorado that carries a lot of water, they are saying that the San Juan River has moved an average of 120 feet per day over the last 22 years, pushing a massive wall of sediment dozens of miles downstream into areas that were once covered by Lake Powell. So you got to keep that in mind. The sediment can be anywhere between 6 to 12 miles in one year, and that's just insane. You got a lot of sediment moving downstream. Here's a video of that sediment being and push downstream and you can see this is basically this is from the usgs and the animation shows that this is how it fills in it starts out at nothing here and then all of a sudden in 1963 lake powell starts to begin to fill and then the sediment starts to build and then before you know it the lake's full and then all of a sudden the sediment builds up and you could see that it's starting to fill in eventually it will be all the way filled and that is not good news either lake powell is different than a lot of other lakes it's extremely long and thin so it will naturally buffer the dam against the sediment simply by keeping the delta really far away from the dam so it will have a long way to go but they're saying that lake powell has lost 6.8 percent of its storage capacity between 1963 and 2018 so just keep that in mind but on the good positive note it will take roughly 700 years for the lake powell to be completely filled with sediment the reservoir will cease to be useful long before that so if it's 700 years we will never see it but at the same time that is still a crazy number and who knows if that will happen thank you guys for stopping by i hope you enjoyed the video please tell a friend consider liking subscribing if you haven't already and we will see you on the next one god bless